Maker friends, and welcome back to the Eclair Makery podcast. I am Claire Goodale, your host, and today we're going to have a special episode of my podcast where you get to hang out with me, and I'm going to chat all about yarn, different things that I am loving right now, sharing some special news which you might have seen on my Instagram feed or in my email newsletter, and just basically focusing all about yarn. Um, usually in my podcast episodes, I have um, guests who are different crochet designers who share different business tips, but right now during the summer, I'm taking a little bit of a break from that, and I really have just wanted to do more podcast episodes where it's just me getting to talk to you, getting to share all about my life as a designer, sharing different yarn mail that I get, and just having this be a really fun time where you can just grab your cup of coffee or iced uh, chai in my case, <laughs> and we can just hang out and basically have our own little sip and stitch where I just get to chat with you about yarn and fun things that I'm doing. So today I have a ton of stuff planned for you, but like we all love getting mail and we love getting yarn mail especially. I don't know about you, but I, <laughs> I always am checking the status updates of my packages whenever I'm expecting something. I check them about a couple times a day, even when they say specifically what day they're supposed to come on, but I am always just waiting for my yarn. I was so excited. So, because I know that we all love looking at yarn, I wanted to start this podcast episode off with me talking about some different yarn mail that I've gotten recently. Um, one of the big things that I have been trying to do this year is investing in uh, indie yarn dyers because I know that it's really hard when you're starting out and you just want someone to love what you create. And I am totally obsessed with hand dyed yarn, as you can see by um, my vast collection right here. I have a lot of it and I'm gonna do a special video on my channel in the next couple weeks where I just kind of detail all the hand dyed yarn that I've collected over this last year. Um, but because I love hand dyed yarn, I've just been buying so much of it. I thought I was going to be totally going off buying yarn this year because I was like, you know what? I don't really need more yarn. I should probably cut back on it a little bit if I'm being honest, but I wanted to try to invest back in the community. So that's, well, I mean, that's probably just my excuse for buying more yarn. But let's go ahead and jump into what I have gotten in the mail recently. So I was really excited when I discovered Five Burrows Yarn a couple, uh, I think like a month or so ago. And she has some really amazing colorways that she creates. She was doing this tropical collection for summer and I am all about tropical colors. So I totally jump right on and had to grab some. So I saved it though. I did not unbox it yet. I mean, it took it out of the box, but I have not unwrapped it. So we're gonna do that together. First of all, I absolutely love her logo. Um, she is based in New York and I love that she just fully embraces color and uh, is just doing all of that. Like her packaging, so much. Fun. I mean, look at this tissue paper. If that doesn't make you want to buy some of her yarn, I don't know what will. Well, once you see these colors, you definitely will. Um, and if you guys have any favorite yarn dyers that you love that I don't mention in this video, please leave a comment below because I am always looking for new yarn dyers to buy from and support and um, just continuing to help grow the crochet and knitting community for doing that. Okay. Oh, wow. Guys, look at these colors. I'm so excited about these. They're so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and look closer at these. So this is her coral reef colorway. It is a 100% super wash merino wool and a DK weight. It's 230 yards, which is usually the um, skein amount for most um, yarn dyers that you buy from. So if, if you're getting a DK weight, it's usually about 230 or um, I think like 218. So it's just right around that. 
So this is such a beautiful colorway. Check that out. Oh, it's got all the beautiful orange speckles, which you guys know I love orange. And oh, all of this beautiful green. She did an amazing job. And this yarn is so soft. I love it. And then here is her gold meridian colorway. Isn't that just so beautiful? This is what I picture the sun to look like in actuality. It is so beautiful. Oh, it's just like that perfect orange color. And let's just talk about how amazing her labels are. They're all tropical and fun. Wow. Ah, I just love this yarn so much. It's so pretty. I'm so glad I saved uh, unboxing this till I was talking with you guys. Okay, so we've got that fun and amazing, amazing yarn. And I will have her shop description in um, the link below, or I'll include a shop link below in the description so that if you want to shop some of her yarn, you totally can. You, I, I need to buy some more, so you should totally hop on it and get some too. Okay. My next yarn package, I've already unboxed this because I always get really excited. Um, I have Explore Knits and Fibers National Parks yarn colorway for, I believe it was last month, so June. This is her Arches National Park colorway. Isn't this incredible? I'm totally regretting not buying an entire sweater's quantity worth of this yarn because look at how amazing that is. Just those pinks and purples and just splashes of orange. Oh, this is basically my dream colorway. All my favorite colors in one that just perfectly blend together. If you guys don't know already by looking on my feed or my stories on Instagram, I am totally obsessed with Explore Knits and Fibers. Her yarn is some of the softest that I've ever gotten. It is always so beautiful. I definitely ordered a ton of yarn from her Italy collection that she had last month. Yeah, at the end of last month. And oh, I am so excited to get all of that. I have just this beautiful sweater planned out. I, I am really excited to start doing some color work sweater designs this fall with all of my hand dyed yarn that I have. I am wanting to use it. I do have plans for my yarn and I am saving up all of her National Parks Club yarn, which you guys can um, join that club. She does a monthly um, shop update with those. So if you want to get some of her National Parks colorways, which I highly, highly recommend, they're all so beautiful. I am totally and completely obsessed with them. So I always, whenever she has a club, I always buy it. Every time. I am totally obsessed with uh, different yarn dyers that have clubs. I join them a lot. Somebody needs to help me stop. <laughs> okay, so this was the really fun yarn that I got from her. Now let's go on to my next set of hand dyed yarn. I'm always getting hand dyed yarn. And it is the Sorella Yarn Downton Abbey Collection yarn. When I saw that they were doing a Downton Abbey collection, I was so excited because I've had this idea for a sweater for a while now. It is doing one of like teacups and books on the yoke and just capturing that feeling of reading a book drinking your favorite drink in a coffee shop and just relaxing and feeling all fancy. And um, when I saw all the colorways, it was the perfect colorways that I want to use for this design. So let's look a little bit closer at them. So this is their colorway based off of Sybil from the show. It's just this beautiful, beautiful blue with splashes of white in it. I love it. Isn't that just amazing? And then this one is their one based off of Mary. Ah, uh, I love this colorway so much. It's just like the perfect deep purple that I just love. I, I have become a huge fan of purple as I've gone into my adult years when I was a kid. Did not like purple at all, but now I totally love it. So this is gonna be the main color of the sweater. And then this blue will be one of the accent colors. And then there's this colorway, the Acquisition of Memories, which, oh, 
it's such a beautiful blend of light pinks and creams together. I love this so much. And all of these are DK weight. I usually have been buying um, DK weight when I get hand dyed yarn just because it's really nice to do color work with and I really enjoy making sweaters with it. And then this colorway, ooh, it is uh, based off of the character Anna. It has all of these beautiful splashes of pink and peach and orange and red, just all blended together to be this perfect collection of colors. And oh, I just love it so much. It's so beautiful. I'm really, really excited to make a sweater with these. So keep your eyes out for upcoming podcast episodes where I share my progress on this. It might not be for a few more months till I'm done and have this released. But I'm really hoping to kind of have this be one of my projects that is more personal for me. So it's not necessarily my like, oh, I need to get this out for designs. It's, oh, I want to make this for myself. But I will be releasing this pattern. It will be just the perfect tea cup and book sweater. So if you guys like tea and sweater and books, then you're going to love this. Okay, so this was all of my hand dyed yarn that I've gotten recently. And now let's move on to another package. I got this a few weeks ago, but I have been saving the, to completely unbox it till I was on video with you guys. So we're gonna open it up. Um, if you haven't seen it on my Instagram um, or on Lion Brand's Instagram, I was uh, so lucky to be chosen as one of the winners for Lion Brand's Stitch Around the World Fashion Show. I submitted my honeybee tea pattern and that was super like it shocked me so much I didn't actually think I would win I that's one of my favorite designs that I've ever made still is even when I come up with other amazing designs but that one is one of my all-time favorites and so I just was like I need to submit this to their fashion show see what happens and they picked it and I was so excited so because I won they sent me this huge box of goodies with a prize basket. It has so many amazing summer yarns in it. I'm really excited to share those with you. And if you guys want to get my honeybee tea pattern, it is available in my shops and it's also available as a kit through Lion Brand. And all those descriptions are in, or all those links are in the description below. Okay, let's look at all of this yarn. I'm so excited. I love Lion Brand's summer yarn collection. So. The first yarns that are in here are these beautiful shades of 24-7 cotton. Ugh, I love 24-7 cotton. I have not worked a lot with it um, this summer. I've been doing a lot of other stuff this summer. But I love these shades so much. You really couldn't have picked better shades for me. I do love the jade and the cream, which is what I made my summer breeze dress with last year. But 24-7 cotton is one of those amazing cotton yarns that it just has amazing drape. It is a, I believe it's, yeah, it's a worsted weight. So it works up really nice and quickly. It's not that dry, thick cotton yarn that uh, something like Lily's Sugar and Cream is. This one is more of a, I think, I believe it's mercerized cotton. So it's a lot smoother and silkier and I just love it. So there are these beautiful, beautiful colorways. Let's see if I can actually, no, nah, I'm gonna just have to do this one at a time. They actually put it in a prize basket. There is a basket inside of this box. <laughs> okay, so I'll just set these two aside. Then we have the, I have not used this yarn at all before but they sent me a bunch of their summer kiss yarn. So this feels like a perfect tropical yarn, something fun with, I feel like I'm feeling a lot of skirt vibes with this or beach cover up vibes, but this is a weight four yarn. Let's see, it's cotton and polyester. Um, trying to figure out what it feels. It almost feels like um, a chainette or chenille type of yarn. So it has, uh, it's mostly cotton and then it has these um, really cool like variegated stitches within here. So it's like variegated threads within the rest of the yarn. And I really like how all of the variegated ones 
they go, they blend together, and it looks like on a lot of these, they're the same. Like, these two have the same variegated threads within them. This is the Earl Grey colorway and the Lilac colorway. And then there's this, um, what colorway is this one? This is Mango, and then this is Ice Glace. So these two have the same threads within them too. These ones have pink and lots of pastels, whereas the other ones have more earthy tones in them. I think I'm I'm excited to try something out with these. I can't guarantee it will come out this summer, but it will come out eventually because I mean this looks really, really fun. Okay, now the yarn that I was most excited to see was included in this, which when I submitted my design for this, I had no idea that I was actually going to win a prize. So when they announced that they were giving away prizes, I was so excited. So this was the yarn that I was most excited about because I have not worked with it yet. It is the Lion Brand True Boo yarn. I was so happy to see that they were including this and they included so much there's there was there's really so much yarn fit in this box um so they sent me all of these different colors are those just incredible oh i was so excited oh and there's one more <gasps> one more color in there too it's a beautiful taupe oh I saw these and I immediately was like, I need to make some sort of like transitional sweater. So I feel like I can make a super fun color block sweater with this. And I might actually have to cast that or start that up next. <laughs> um, but if you guys have not checked out this yarn yet, it came out at the beginning of this year. It is a, a weight three yarn that is made from, um, let's double check that. It's from, made from bamboo. So this yarn is incredibly, incredibly soft. I am totally loving it. It is really smooth. It has this nice sheen to it. And all of the colors are just like the perfect tropical colors. They just scream summer to me. I love it. And oh, I think this one might be my favorite. Sea foam. I always love a good sea foam color. It's just so beautiful. And this orange, man. I wish that Lion Brand was looking for more True Boo kits, but I believe that they <laughs> have a lot right now. But I think I need to make a sweater with this yarn because it just is so much fun. And there's actually a lot of yardage in here. There's 241 yards in this yarn. So I could easily make with six skeins, I could make such a fun sweater. <laughs> I can have all of these on my fingers. <laughs> Love being silly on camera. Okay, so we've got all of these really fun summer yarns. So let's look a little bit more in here. Oh, there's a bunch more of the 24 seven colorways, yay. Okay, so here's another summer kiss yarn. This one is a little bit less my style. It's very bright. So maybe I'll make something with this for somebody else. But if you guys like neon green, then this one, you might really like that. Okay, so then there's a couple, there's five more 24 seven cartons in here, what? I think I'll have to make a sweater with all of these too. Okay, here are all of the really fun 24 seven cotton colorways that they included in here too. There is the brand new succulent colorway of 24 seven cotton. This is their color of the year. It's probably one of my favorite colors of the year that Lion Brand has ever done. It's so beautiful. Then this is their denim colorway, which this one has, I feel like this is more on the purple side versus the denim side. Like if you've checked out the Lion Brand jeans yarn, that one definitely looks like a, a bunch of shades of jeans. But this one is a little bit more um, purpley, but it's really, really, really pretty. And then there's this one. Oh, look, there's a little hat not hate. <laughs> they included a lot of uh, blue yarn in here because this was for um, a hat not hate event then this is the aqua colorway this one's so pretty and then look it's the cream or it's ecru that i was talking about earlier love that color and oh this magenta one this one speaks to my purple loving heart so much i love it 
so pretty. Man, I got so much fun yarn meal. <laughs> I love yarn so much. My husband said the other day when I got um, some of these packages in the mail, he was like, you know what? I think he's picked the right profession because when I opened a box that I'm going to show you in a little bit, I squealed and I was like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I got so excited. Like whenever I get a yarn package, it pretty much just makes my day. So this is a really fun colorway. And then the last yarn that they included in here is another one of my favorite Lion Brand yarns. And that is their Lion Brand Reup yarn. So I love Reup. I love the message behind this yarn. It's so cool. It is um, a recycled cotton blend that saves 5,900 5, cups of water per ball. So you save so much water with this yarn. It's so cool and it's so affordable. I believe each skein is only $2.99. Oh, it's $2.99, not $299. <laughs> um, I am totally loving this colorway. I think this is a newer one. It's their Sunflower, which I love, love, love sunflowers. I have a sweater idea coming I'm going to try to release it in the fall, but I've had an idea for a sunflower sweater and I also have a sunflower dress that I will be releasing in the fall as well that uses some fun cotton colorways and I'll show that in another video. But I'm going to use some really fun wee crochet cotton yarn that I got recently. Um, so this is really pretty. I love this color. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't that just so pretty? And then they included, this one's fun. It's called bubble gum and it's all variegated with pinks and then some white thrown in there definitely reminds me of bubble gum there is this is their gray one which this is such a pretty shade of gray then we've got the red colorway i think i'm gonna need to come up with some uh, dish claws with this stuff and then this is the black one which this yarn this <laughs> this re-up one feels completely different than the others so I think that this is the right one, but it definitely doesn't feel the same. I don't know why this ball feels different, but it feels a little, this ball of yarn feels a lot different. Okay, and then, oh, look at all these other fun goodies they included in here. So they included a hat, not hate pin, that has a little tiny hat on it. Isn't that so cute? They included some darning needles, which I needed some of these. Clover contributed to some of this stuff. So there's some clover hooks in here, which... I was needing some of these thinner hooks, so I'm so, so glad that they <laughs> sent them to me because I don't have these sizes in clover hooks. And clover hooks are some of my favorites besides, um, look at all of these. They sent me their, uh, I believe these are the Amore ones, which I love, love, love their Amore hooks. I've got a bunch of them um, that I've used in a bunch of my designs. And they sent me now all the set of the smaller sized hooks. So now I think I have a true complete set of clover crochet hooks. Oh yeah, and then there's some more um, darning needles too. So now I have a whole set of darning needles and you want to see the basket, the actual prize basket guys, actual prize basket, check it out. Oh look. And at the bottom of the box, two little hooks that escape. <laughs> so I was totally laughing when I saw that it was an actual basket that I got in the mail. So that was my super fun prize basket. I'm so glad I got to unbox that with you guys and share that. I'm really excited to kind of use that yarn for different things and probably will wait till next summer because I've got a lot of stuff going on. But another package that I have for to share with you guys today I am so excited about because one of my really good friends on Instagram Lauren of a menagerie of stitches she just released her crochet cafe book which I am going to share with you today so let's open up this box and check it out so first of all Let's just talk about how amazing this branding is. There's this super cute entry or um, card that she has included in here that shares a little bit of um, about her book. And I'm just so obsessed with these graphics on there. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. She basically sent me a kit 
of stuff to make some of her designs. So she included some safety eyes in here in case I didn't have any. And look, some more more hooks. Maybe I'll have to give these away so that you guys can um, try some of these out and try out this book. I'm gonna see about making a giveaway for this. I'm so excited. Oh, and I am totally obsessed with her logo and this cute, cute little yarn sticker right here. Love it. Okay, I'll set these just back in the books and oh my goodness. Check this out, guys. Isn't this just the cutest book ever? <gasps> crochet Cafe Recipes for Amigurumi Crochet Patterns. Just look at this. It is so, so fun. I absolutely love it. So on the back, the description is whip up a yummy creation. So cute. You'll want to eat it. It features more than 30 adorable and appetizing food inspired amigurumi patterns. Lauren Epsi, author of 2019's number one best selling amigurumi book in the United States, Whimsical Stitches, gives you the ingredients and recipes you need to crochet your favorite meals and treats. Easy to follow patterns, detailed photographs, and helpful tips to make this book perfect for novice and experienced crocheters alike. You can enjoy brunch with Eggs Benedict or avocado toast, lunch on the go with a bento box or burrito, a traditional Italian spaghetti dinner complete with meatballs, red wine, and cannoli. Oh my goodness, we need to jump right into this book. Okay, I'm gonna get really hungry. Good thing it's almost lunch, so then I can actually have some lunch. Okay. So, oh, just look at this. It's so fun. Here's a little table of contents. Here's, I love that she always has a material and tool section in her book that, so it's everything that you're gonna need to make all the patterns. She includes like her most common abbreviations and then different stitches and techniques that you're going to need in this book like i love that she has so many different tutorials this is awesome definitely definitely detailed perfect for if you're a beginner to amigurumi i think this is a great 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 book for you to try out okay the first chapter is breakfast <gasps> when i saw this on her instagram it's the avocado toast and avocado i just about died because as a californian we pretty much put avocados on every single dish that we make here. So seeing an avocado toast, toast pattern just made me so excited. So it's so, so cute. And then there's a bacon recipe. Oh my goodness. Bacon, eggs, and toast. Isn't that just the cutest? Oh my goodness. And look at this, eggs benedict. <laughs> I might have to make this for my, my family. My parents and my sister love Eggs Benedict. Oh, it's just so, so cute. I can't get over it. And then muffins and a latte. Ah! Oh, she, Lauren was one of the people that got me back into crochet because I just became obsessed with her amigurumi designs. And I don't do amigurumi now in most of my designing, but I started out doing that. And oh, pancakes so cute she makes the cutest food ever okay now let's move on to the lunch chapter oh look at this you've got a little bento box that has a bunch of cute things you've got let's see what is all in here you've got your the box itself you've got an octopus hot dog a rice ball edamame hard-boiled egg and a cherry tomato isn't that just so adorable i can't get over it it's too cute Oh, okay, let's go to the next food. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Burritos, look at how cute. Ah, totally, completely obsessed. Oh, and then look at this. You have a falafel pita, which is uh, so cute. I saw this on the cover and I just was like, that's amazing. I don't know how she does it. Every single time makes them amazing. Oh, and look, a grilled cheese with tomato soup. Guys, there are so many adorable patterns in here. I don't do amigurumi, but uh, I'm gonna definitely have to try some of this. Look at how cute this hot dog set is. And then you've got your snacks. So you've got your apples, so cute and precious. We've got chips and guac. <laughs> oh, so cute. 
juice boxes. Oh, the cuteness does not end. Oranges. Oh man, they're so adorable. And popcorn. Ah, I got so excited when I saw popcorn on there because my husband and I, we love eating popcorn. Um, we've got popsicles. These are so adorable. Let's see. Oh yes. A burger and fries. Two of my favoriteest things. My husband and I, we go on date nights to In-N-Out almost every Wednesday, even with quarantine. We just go through the drive-thru, get our stuff, and we do that just about once a week. Oh, and then there's a Chinese takeout box. Guys, this is just so much fun. I can't get over this. Please buy this so that I can see all of the cute things that you make. There's a lobster with corn on the cob. <laughs> so adorable. Pizza, my all-time favorite food. If I could eat any food, it that just that food for the rest of my life, it would definitely be pizza. Oh yes, and then here I'm seeing as I'm turning these pages, it's the spaghetti and meatballs with a little wine glass. <laughs> so adorable. Oh yeah, dessert, my favorite. Now there's the cute little cannolis. There's a cute cheesecake. And let's see what else is in here. There's some eclairs. Hey, I'm gonna have to make one of these for my uh, business name, Eclair Makery. This could be my little mascot. That would be so fun. And then ice cream cones, one of my favorite desserts, ice cream. Love, love, love ice cream. Oh, and then here's my other favorite dessert, pie. Oh, I just love pie so much. And these are so adorable. Oh my goodness. Lauren really, really outdid herself with this book. It's amazing. So many cute food patterns. I love crocheted food and this is just the cutest. If I had kids right now, I would definitely be making most of this stuff for them. It's just so adorable. Oh, you guys need to definitely check this out. It's now released on Amazon or you could get it on her website. I will include the link for this in the description. And Lauren is such an inspiration to me. Um, she is such a kind and sweet soul. I love her so much. And I am so excited for her that she released her second book. Isn't that just amazing? Two books. I totally dream of having that one day. Just like her, when I grow up, I wanna be like Lauren. <laughs> um, okay, so we have that. That is all of the fun mail that I have gotten recently. And now we're gonna move on to the next segment of today's podcast episode, which is all of the things that I am loving recently. I have been really trying to invest more in myself, I guess. Um, one of the things that I really struggle with as a crochet designer is I don't take times of rest. So I have really been trying to listen to my husband when he encourages me to rest and just kind of investing in myself by making time for resting, picking up some of my favorite old hobbies and getting to do that. And a lot of what has helped with that is we just moved into a brand new apartment, which you can see my yarn room looks completely different. And um, I have a brand new display, which this is one of the things that I am loving recently. And it is that I can fit all of my yarn in this cabinet. Guys, I got rid of so much yarn. I'm really trying to minimize to just keeping the stuff that I know I'm going to make designs with. So I've completely filled up these shelves with, it's basically all Lion Brand and We Crochet yarn. And then I have all of my beautiful hand dyed yarn right here. And this green cabinet my parents gave to me, it has been, I think, in our family since the 1930s. So it's basically an heirloom. I love the mint color, and this is going to be my brand new backdrop for all of my videos <laughs> um, that have me in them. I'm really excited about it. It's really nice to have something that is just a cool focal point that I can have my yarn displayed in. It makes an amazing backdrop. And it's just nice to kind of force myself to minimize my yarn collection because I kept too much yarn. It was really bad. I've gotten rid of, I think, oh, I'm gonna say like 
five garbage bags full of yarn and I think with the rest of my stash I'm going to or the rest of the stuff I'm getting rid of I'll probably do a D stash sometime soon on my Instagram or email um I was really excited last month I raised $400 for the Loveland Foundation which is a organization that provides therapy to black women and girls. That was something that really spoke to my heart and I found out about that while um, a lot of the racism talks have been going on and I was really excited to see how you guys totally came and just showed so much support for that. We raised $400 by just with yarn. It is so cool. So I probably will end up doing another charity drive. If there is a charity that you guys want me to donate to, leave a comment below and let me know which one really speaks to your heart and maybe we'll raise some more money for another organization. It's so cool seeing how you guys really want to invest in people and in making change happen. So I have a lot of yarn that I'm gonna get rid of, but I've pared down most of my yarn to this cabinet. I just have a giant box that I'm going to show you in a little bit that is full of yarn. So that kind of adds to it. So I guess technically my stuff is not all confined to this cabinet anymore, but for the most part it is. Another thing that I am loving recently is I have plants now. I got this plant when we moved into our new apartment and it is just totally thriving. I am so excited. Let's see if I still have the tag in here. Oh, I don't. But this is a golden pothos, and this one is gr a great beginner pattern if you, or not pattern, we're not talking about crochet at this moment. This is a great beginner plant. Um, it needs just low sunlight. I only water mine about once a week, um, and that usually seems to keep it going well, um, cause you don't wanna, and one of the things that I used to do was I overwatered, but um, when I lived in our old apartment, we didn't have enough sun sunlight that came into um, any of our windows. So I haven't been able to have plants for over a year and a half. And now I'm really excited because we get enough sunlight in our apartment and on our patio that I can have a little patio garden. I'm so excited about that. I have squash, cucumbers, I have a tomato tree. It's really a tomato bush, but I basically call it a tomato tree because it's so tall. It's about as tall as I am. Um, and then I have a bunch of herbs as well because I love using fresh herbs in cooking. And so now I have some fun little plants that I get to keep that have those herbs in them. And it's just been so uh, joyful for me to be able to take care of plants and to do that is so much fun. Um, if you need some fun hobby that is completely separate from crochet, I highly recommend trying your hand out at gardening. It's taken me a little bit of time to figure out if I have green thumb or not and I'm developing one, we'll just say. <laughs> a lot of what happened in our old apartment with plants had to do with the fact that there was no sunlight. So it was all just tons and tons of shade so they didn't they couldn't survive but I still have one plant from my old apartment that is still alive that I've kept up don't know how it survived this long but it's making it so that's cool um another thing that I have been loving recently is my hook nook interchangeable crochet hooks so I didn't think that I was actually going to really uh use these. I did a review of them um, last week on my channel here. Uh, you guys can check that out. I detail all the different fun notions that We Crochet now has on their website from the Hook Nook collection and I was really impressed with these hooks from the get-go but I, I usually just use my furls hooks or my clover ones, um, mainly my furls ones recently but then I was like you know what I'm gonna just try these out and try making a whole design with them and I am loving them. They are so great. The handle is so nice and ergonomic. There are a bunch of different options for your um, hook size and I just love, love, love the style of the case they come in. So if you wanna grab some of these and they're, they're so nice and compact, you can have hold it comes with two handles so you can have two full hooks at a time and then it stores all the other um, hook sizes in here. I've got another one of the hooks is put together, um, the second one. But I just love this. I think they did such a good job and I am really enjoying 
having these and I don't feel ever like this is going to come off. I think it's only come off because I play with it. But these are one of my favorite things. You can get them um, in the description below. I've got the link for them. I'll make sure you can get all the stuff I'm talking about. <laughs> um, another thing that I have been doing recently with the whole investing in um, rest and in time is I am falling in love with reading again. I tried to do some reading digitally um, the last few months as libraries were closed, but our library opened back up. So I have been trying to get some physical books, which I found really helps me to actually read because it feels completely different than my job. My job is blogging and crochet and all I'm doing all day is being on a computer or looking at a screen watching TV. So having a hard book to read and holding it in my hands makes me read it. This was a book I just finished recently. Brandon Sanderson is one of my all time favorite authors. I have most of his books on my bookshelf. Um, and this is the second book in his Star Wars series. If you guys love science fiction, then you are going to love this book series. It's so good. I am a huge, huge fan. And this was such a fun read to read over the last few weeks. And I'm, tr I'm really trying to do one book a week because I want to um, just try to do more reading to encourage myself to do that instead of screen time at night. So my husband and I oftentimes will get into bed at 10 and then read for two hours. It's really, really fun. Um, I'm also currently reading Red Rising, which is another cool sci-fi series that if you like sci-fi and this one's is said to be a blend of the Hunger Games Ender's Game and Game of Thrones, which I'm about halfway through with it and I would agree. I think it's really good. It's a really cool story that takes place on Mars. I won't say more beyond that because I want you guys to check it out. And then I've also been reading a lot of comics recently. I've been kind of surprised that I'm doing that, but my husband reads comics every night when we do our reading sessions and he'll read comics, I'll read a book, and so he's kind of encouraged me to read comic books and I got the all of the Legend of Korra comic books from the library. I'm a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan. So I thought, you know what? I'll just read these series too because I watched Legend of Korra recently, which I'm so sad I'm done with. Um, but I wanted to keep that going and so I got the comic books and they're so fun. And then I've also gotten the comic books um, that my, my husband and I are reading them right now for The Walking Dead. Like we got the complete four uh, compendiums from the library. I'm so glad the library is open. Um, and we've watched the series all the way through, uh, but we've never read the comics that they're based off of. And they are so good. I am not a zombie person, but I love the stories of The Walking Dead because it's all about the people. It's all about how humans can come together and just survive and the strength that we can find in each other. And so this series is just so cool. And so it's been really, really fun to read these. So if you guys like The Walking Dead, you definitely need to check out the comic book series that they have that's all based off of. It feels like you're reading the screenplay for the TV series. It's almost shot for shot from the comics, which is just so cool because it's so rare to find a book that translates really well into a TV series, but this one does a great job. There's a few things different in the book like normal, but it's really cool to see this. Okay, before we get to the last um, segment of this podcast episode today, I wanted to share the last thing that I am really obsessed with right now. And that is lounge fly bags. I am a huge Disney fan. And um, Steven and I have Disneyland passes. Unfortunately, we have been able to use them the last six or so months with everything being closed from COVID-19. But I have still kept up my lounge fly obsession and can't wait to use these in the actual parks. But look at this one, it's Chewbacca. And it's fuzzy. It's so cute. 
I just love this one. This is my most recent one that I got. I love purses and I've just been using backpacks recently instead of purses. Um, but I had to get this one when it was on sale. It's the Captain Marvel Loungefly bag. It's so cool. I just love how Loungefly always has these cool tags on their bags. And this one's just like the perfect Captain Marvel bag. I eventually want to get the Captain Marvel backpack, but this one is so fun. I <laughs> I took us to a bachelorette party um, and that, that it felt really funny to be all dressed really nice and then having Captain Marvel bag, but I'm a huge nerd, so I loved it. And then I've had this one since my birthday last year, but it's my R2D2 lounge fly. It's so cute. And then I have, uh, um, cause Loungefly has pre-orders on some websites. So I have a Baby Yoda one on pre-order and the little aliens from Toy Story and they're holding a Pizza Planet box. It's so cute. I just love Loungefly bags. If you've never checked out their bags and you're a huge Disney fan, definitely look into them. They are so fun. I use mine every single day um it whenever I'm going out and they're really great project bags too if you just need to throw a quick crochet project in there I take them with me everywhere and if you like going to the Disney parks at all they are just really nice size for kids and adults super fun highly recommend lounge fly bags they're so cool and I also got some cute pins from lounge fly as well um but now I've showed you, I've showed you so many things today. Hasn't this been so much fun? I'm loving getting to share all these different things that are going on in my life. And another thing that's been going on in my life is I have some super exciting news. I am writing a crochet book. I am so excited, guys. This has been my dream since I was really young. I've always wanted to be an author, didn't know what I wanted to be an author about. I thought for a really long time it was going to be in writing fiction, like sci-fi and fantasy, but I never really felt like I found my voice with doing that. And then now that I've been doing crochet, I was approached by a publisher and they asked if I would be interested in writing a book for them. So I am now writing a book with Page Street Publishing. It's going to come out next fall in 2021. It's going to be all about crochet color work, which I'm really excited about because one of my life goals and missions with my business and crochet blog is to help give you guys the confidence to do crochet color work. I want to make all of those complicated things a lot easier by breaking them down into pieces, creating patterns that can bring all of those beautiful knitted patterns you're used to seeing with color work and bringing them into crochet. And so this book is basically sharing my heart and passion for color work crochet. It's going to have so many things that are going to teach you about color work. Um, I really want to thank my friend Lauren for just encouraging me to hold on to that dream. Um, she's really inspiring with all of the books that she has um, and I definitely am going to be looking at those to see what I should do in mine but I'm really excited. This is going to be so much fun. I'm going to have just a lot of really cool patterns to get to share with you guys and um, I am so so grateful because my friends at Lion Brand Yarn, when I reached out to them to see if they would provide yarn support for my book, they are providing all of the yarn for my book. It has garments, accessories, different things in it, and they were gracious enough to provide it all for me. And I feel so honored and blessed. So I wanted to show you guys some of the yarn. I can't show you guys the designs yet because that is going to be shared with you next year, next summer, as we get ready for the release of the book. And also because I haven't crocheted them yet. Um, but this has basically been a lot of my summer is getting my book ready, getting my book organized. And so I got a huge, huge book box in the mail. It's like up to my knees. Let's see if I can even lift it. Ugh, here it is. It's a lion sized box of yarn from Lion Brand. <laughs> Um, so let's look at some of the different colors I'm going to do because this book is coming out in the fall and it's a lot of cozy, um, different type of patterns. I went with a 
kind of fall color scheme. So there's gonna be this really pretty shade. I believe this is kombucha. Yeah, this is kombucha and color made easy. One of my all time favorite yarns here. I've got all the different shades of Lion Brand Heartland. Just the amazing orange colorway. We've got the forest green. There's tan and gold. Oh, when I saw these um, all put together because I was so nervous <laughs> when I picked out my colors for my book because I was really worried that I didn't choose the right ones, that like even though they all blended together on the pictures that in real life they wouldn't all blend together. But oh, they go so well together. We've got some jeans yarn and I have never tried this one so I'm really excited about this. Um, the retweed, not the cotton one. This is the recycled tweed yarn. So I, oh, I'm so excited to use that for some designs. The, this is gonna be a really cool pattern. Here's it up close, yay. Um, we've got some more Lion Brand jeans yarn. I am so excited about all of these. Here's more of that. We've got some Lion Brand mandala yarn. This is gonna be a really fun pattern. I can't wait to share that one with you guys. We have more of the color made easy. <laughs> I hope this is getting you guys all excited for the book. Um, Lion Brand Mandala Ombre, another one of my favorite ones. That's going with that blue jeans yarn. We've got the Kobu yarn, which this one, I love this yarn. It's so, so soft. This is their one that came out, I believe last year. Um, then I've got one of my all-time favorite yarns that you've seen so in so many of my designs, and that is the Lion Brand Basic Stitch yarn. Always have some of this on hand. If you look in my cabinet back there, you'll see I've got a lot of that. We have this one. This is the Retweed in, I believe, Sleet? Yes. And, um, then we also have Color Made Easy in this colorway right here. And we've got this slate gray color. This is Mammoth Cave and Heartland. And then we've got this. I love, love, love this color. This is the mineral yellow of Color Made Easy. So pretty, so beautiful. And some more basic stitch yarn in here as well. And then there's just like duplicates of what you saw. Oh yes, and this pretty uh, blue retweed color. I am seriously so excited about this book. It's gonna be amazing. And I have to remind myself that it's gonna be amazing because writing a book, I feel a lot like an imposter. So, so much imposter syndrome while writing this book so far for me. Just because I don't feel like, I really struggle with feeling like my designs are good enough. So I just am completely astounded that someone wants to work with me in writing a book. Um, but you guys have really helped encourage me to keep doing this. And my husband has been such an awesome support for me through all of this process, just encouraging me like, hey, they reached out to you, you can do this. Um, but this really is going to be me in a book. And I'm really, really excited to get to bring that um, to life for you guys. So this is the rest of my summer. Now that I have all this yarn, I'm gonna be writing and making all of these patterns to get ready for this book. And it's just going to be amazing. Um, and speaking of patterns, the last part of our podcast today is going to be sharing about some of my upcoming designs that are coming out. So the first one is the one that released today, and that is the Rose Garden Tea. This one, I just love this. I'll stand up so you can see it a little bit closely. So this one was inspired by my grandma's rose garden that she had while I was growing up. Um, she had so many varieties of roses and so I really wanted to capture, a make a sweater that would capture all those memories and my love of roses. So this one I used the uh, Wee Crochet Shine Sport yarn, which is one of my all-time favorite cotton yarns. It has amazing drape, super soft. 
it's a weight too and it just worked so well for this design. I, one of the things that I try to do with my color work designs is have it be a cohesive theme all throughout it. So we started with the roses and the flowers and then I created the basket weave on the bottom which gives it that look and feel of a flower basket that you can wear. And my testers did such an amazing job creating this pattern. Be sure to check out my blog post below that has um, all of the different tester photos and samples of this design and grab the pattern for yourself if you wanna make it. It is, it might look like it's intimidating, but trust me, it is not. I have some of my testers who this is their first color work sweater that they've ever done, first color work pattern. And I try in all my patterns to break it down for you so that you can easily do it. And I think this is a really great starting one because it doesn't have a lot of colors. You don't, you can carry your yarn throughout the entire thing. And then most of the pattern is the basket weave on the bottom. So you can just have your normal solid color crochet to finish off the pattern, which is something that I love getting to do. So you are gonna just love this one. Um, another one that I have um, coming up is this really fun leopard clutch pattern. I made this to go with the stitch exploration event that I did with Knitting with Chopsticks and Joy of Motion last month. And um, this one uses my leopard stitch with some worsted weight yarn. It's super cute. It has this fun little edging on the sides. And so this is going to be coming to my blog and YouTube channel soon. Um, and this is just a really great beginner color work pattern because it just is the same thing over and over until you get the size that you want. Then one that will be coming out next month, which I'm really, really excited about, is my desert cactus dress. You, If you have been following me for a while, you might remember me sharing a photo of this design last summer. And I never wrote up the pattern. I never um, like got testers, never released it. So I created this one and it's gonna come in a peplum top version, which will end about right here. And then you can do a dress if you want to. Um, it uses the same pattern and I've got all these different adjustments that you'll be able to do. So I'll share more about this once it comes closer to the release date, but oh, I'm so excited about having this one. I used Lion Brand Beautiful You, which is one of my all-time favorite summery yarns because it's lightweight, it feels so nice and cool when you wear it, and it's just so, oh, it's so great to work with. And even though it's a weight two yarn, it works up so quickly, which is just amazing. Um, another one of my upcoming projects, which I haven't completely finished yet, so I'll just show you a sneak peek of it. But it is going to be a Monstera cardigan. I haven't come up with the final name for it yet, but it's gonna be something Monstera. But um, I used the We Crochet Caught Lin yarn for this. So you can see it has Monstera leaves and then this fun lace pattern. It uses the twisted stitch. So it is um, part of like the last three patterns that I've shown you that I'm developing slash going to release. Those are kind of part of my new mission in my business and that's to create a lot of really great beginner patterns that teach you color work so that if you are intimidated to start, these are gonna all be free on my blog. They're all going to have tutorials that will break things down for you. And then you will just totally be able to jump right into color work with this. And I'll walk you through all the steps. And um, this one's really nice because you only ever use two colors and you only do color work in these two sections on each panel. So it will be made of three different panels. And I am really excited with how this one turned out. I love, love, love the drape on this Kotlin yarn and it's super fun. So I can't wait to see what my testers come up with for that. Um, and then let me grab this one over here. One that came out last week was my Mountain Sky Top, which I love this pattern so much. It's so dear to my heart because this was inspired by some of my favorite memories with my husband um, when he's taken me stargazing up in the mountains um, or when we were stargazing in college with a bunch of our friends. So such great memories and so I just am a huge mountain girl even though I grew up by the ocean. <laughs> um, but this is just such a really 
beautiful pattern and I used We Crochet's City Tweed DK yarn which created the perfect speckles that I needed for this pattern just to kind of complement the stars on the yoke and my testers did such an amazing job with this pattern. I am so impressed by them. Um, I was really blessed to have some great testers for all of my patterns that I've been doing. Um, and so this one is available in my shops now. You can get it. It comes in sizes extra small to 5XL, which all of my, pa my garment patterns do. Definitely try to make these size inclusive so that anyone can make these fun colorwork sweaters. So be sure to check that one out as well and get yourself a copy of the Rose Garden Tea because it is on sale right now for the weekend since it came out. So I really am excited about releasing this one. And wow, we went through so much today on this podcast episode. I'm sure it's like an hour long because <laughs> I talked a lot. I always think that I'm not going to be able to talk about crochet for an hour, but I... I just proved myself wrong and I totally did. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today as I went over all these different fun things that I love that I got in the mail and just all the fun yarn stuff that I have been creating and working with. Be sure to hit the like button for this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any uh, more of my podcast episodes and be sure to check out my playlist that has every one of my podcast episodes in it. We have some great ones on the channel here. There's ones from Coco Crochet Lee, Tony Lipsy from TL Yarn Crafts. I've got two interviews with Knititude. There's so many fun episodes that you can catch up on and check out. And I can't wait to do more of these podcast episodes where we get to hang out this summer. It's going to be so much fun. And I love getting to create this type of content for you guys. So be sure to have fun crocheting this weekend. And if you want to check out any of the things I talked about in this video, I've got it all um, in the description box below. All the links that you might need for the stuff I talked about and you can get some for yourself if you want to treat yourself and I will see you next time here on my podcast have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time bye thank you so much for watching this video be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel see you next time